name is Chelsea and I'm a Yellow 2020 intern at the San Francisco Public Library. Today I'll be showing an example of a chemical reaction using common household items that you should be able to find in your kitchen. You might want to have an adult help you with this experiment since we are dealing with chemicals and you may need help measuring out ingredients. So what you will need are the following. A gallon size Ziploc sandwich bag, baking soda, some warm water, vinegar, some measuring cups, and paper towels. Okay, so we have gathered all of our materials together and let's start the experiment. So the first thing you want to do is pour one cup of warm water into your Ziploc bag. So I'm right here, I'm going to measure out one cup of water. And then once I have my cup of water, I'm going to pour it into my Ziploc bag. And then next, I am going to add two cups of vinegar in, and I'm going to measure out first. After my two cups of vinegar are measured, I'm going to pour it into the Ziploc bag and whip the water. Now I'm going to zip up the Ziploc bag shut, but I'm going to leave a corner that's open enough to slip a paper towel in later. Alright, next you're going to have a paper towel and you are going to slip in. All right, for our final step, we are going to have our baking soda and we are going to put 12 teaspoons of baking soda on top of the paper towel. All right, so this is our final step. I have my bag of warm water and vinegar over here, and I have my paper towel pouch of baking soda. Okay, so I'm going to um, put the pouch of baking soda in the Ziploc bag and quickly seal the Ziploc bag up and watch it expand and explode. Uh -huh. Alright, so we just finished the experiment. What exactly happened there? So, when the baking soda and the vinegar mixed, they created a type of chemical reaction called an acid-base reaction that produces gas. In this case, this gas was carbon dioxide, which is the gas you produce when you exhale. The gas needs more room than the actual solids, so this is why the bag kept on filling and filling up with carbon dioxide until, and then expanded until it explodes. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out the rest of the STEM Challenge Yourself videos by SFPL librarians and Yo interns. Thank you.